Hey guys, welcome to this video. Here is the model question paper for the subject Digital Design and Computer Organization that is DDCO. The subject code is BCS302. So let us see the question paper with module wise. So the first module, if you see the syllabus, it is introduction to digital design and it contains logic gates, theorems and Boolean algebra and uh, KMF method and the hardware description language Verilog introduction. If you see the model question paper, the first question is to demonstrate the positive and negative logic using AND gate. Means using AND gate, we need to demonstrate how the positive and negative logic has been implemented. And then find the POS that is <clears throat> product of some expression for the expression they have given and realize it using NOR gates. And then C, simplify the Boolean expression again using KMAP and write the Verilog program for the realizing the minimized expression. After the minimization, the expression we are going to get from the KMAP, for that we need to write the Verilog code. So this is module 1, question 1. The alternative question or the choice question contains what is binary logic? List out any 4 laws of logic. Means here Boolean algebra laws we need to write any 4 and we need to define what is binary logic. Again, simplify the following Boolean function and find its sum of product is the question given. So one question will be there on simplification using the KMAP and one question will be there on Verilog uh, example or Verilog code or about the short note. This is from module 1. Coming to module 2, here module 2 contains combinational logic and sequential logic and uh, hardware description language with Verilog for the combinational circuits. So if you see the question, explain the differences between combinational and sequential circuits with their block diagram and examples. This is for 5 marks. What are decoders? Implement the following Boolean function with a decoder. So here the 3 uh, expressions are given and it is asked for 5 marks. It may be asked for more than 5 marks. The C question, what are multiplexers? Implement the Boolean function given with a 8 is to 1 marks. So implementation using MUX as well as decoder will be there in this model question paper. If you see the question number 4 that is the choice question in module 2. Define encoder, design a 4 bit priority encoder. So priority encoder is very important many times asked in the exam if you see other subjects also. Write the Verilog program to implement full ladder and subtractor circuits and write the characteristic table and Equations of SR, JK, D and T flip-flops. This is about module 2. Coming to module 3. Module 3 questions are like this. What do you mean by addressing mode? Explain any 5 addressing modes. So module 3 is of computer architecture basics with instructions and some memory location and address concepts. So addressing mode is asked first and then describe the functionality of the following. MAR, PC, IR, these are the registers and explain basic performance equation and spec rating. So this is what from the module 3. The choice question contains demonstrate the branching operations using a loop to add n numbers with block diagram. We need to demonstrate this with an example code. Then the registers R1, R2 has decimal values. Calculate the effective address of the memory operand in each of the following instructions. So here we need to calculate the effective address. And then the C is explain single bus structure. So this is from module 3. Coming to module 4, module 4 has input and output organization. So explain memory mapped IO and IO interface for an input device with a diagram and explain IO operations involving a keyboard and display device with a program that reads one line from keyboard, stores it in a buffer and echoes it back to display. That is module 4 question. The choice question for that is explain how to handle interrupt from multiple devices using daisy chain and priority scheme. Daisy chain and priority scheme question here it is. Explain centralized and distributed bus arbitration approaches is question number 8 on module 4. The alternate question for that is with a diagram. Explain single bus organization of the data path inside a processor. Describe the basic idea of instruction pipeline. 
so instruction pipeline question will be also be very important and the alternate question is explain the process of fetching word from the memory in a processor and explain the pipeline performance of processor and pipeline starts this is from module 5 module 5 is of basic processing units in a processor so pipelining concept is important so they have asked and also fetching a word from the memory and the bus organization in the data path inside a processor they have asked so this is a model question paper which i got so let us try to answer these questions and let me uh, give you the answers in a other video so this this video is about the model question paper how the questions may come from digital design and computer organization subject so let us see in the next video of answers for these model question paper questions thank you